What's up guys? Today we're gonna make a video on the Jetta, which is really rare. So we got a fog light kit here from Amazon. We got clear fog lights, glass lenses, the stuff they go into, wiring, and they replace these plastic things here. I'm gonna try to do this without taking the bumper off, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. So first things first, I'm gonna open the hood. And I know my car is really dirty. It needs to be washed for sure. Okay, so these things have to come out where the new ones go in. I've taken these out before uh, from the front and I've also taken the bumper off before when my car was wrapped. Pushed them out from the back. I'm gonna try to get them out from the front without damaging anything. And in this trim, I've painted it like five times and no matter what I do, it gets rock chips in it so i'd like to convert this whole grill to the gli style the honeycomb style with a trim that's you know black all right so these two plastic pieces are out it took like 30 seconds you just grab it from the corner and like pull up on it and the whole thing kind of peels out and the tabs just look like this if it's really hard you might have to push down in the tabs but like i said mine's been off before so I hurried and stuck that one in. And it's really nice. This kit was only $52 on Amazon. And there's these tabs here. And then there's this hole here. And the bumper is already like made for this. So um, I don't know if you can see this, but those tabs slide into some slots. And then up here, there's a hole that lines up with a factory hole in the factory bumper. And so they're already in, so I'm just gonna throw a self-tapper through these corners. And then uh, the hard, I thought that was gonna be the hard part is getting these mounted, but that's it. I just need to put a self-tapper in the corners and then I'm ready to go. And then the wiring, and I don't even know if I wanna do the wiring because the switch is really cheap. It's hard to open this with one hand, but some kits have like a nice, factory style switch, but this is the switch, is this junk little thing. So I'm probably going to throw the harness through the front and then not wire up the rest because I don't even care if they work. I just want my car to not look so base model. And it already looks better by having those lights in like that. So I'll let you know what I come up with. All right, so I've got it all laid out, the harness. It's really quality, like it's really well put together for the $52 that I paid for this whole kit. So this these plugs here are for the lights, so that'll run through the bumper. And then this is a ground, I'm guessing, because it's black. There's instructions over there, but who needs those, right? And then this green plug, that's what the switch plugs into. And what I really don't like about this is that you would think that this would be the end and then all this extra stuff would all come out of that one side to all go through one side of the car. But the way that it's set up is to come through this side of the car and that side of the car to make more wiring clutter than there needs to be. So really this side, this should go straight to the battery. So really that side could have came out of this side with all this stuff, which would have made it even simpler and then this is just a red wire. This is nothing special. And then this is the switch and this green clip plugs into that green clip there. And then another power on ground. And so like I said, I'm just gonna hurry and run this through the front, plug these into the lights and just tuck it away somewhere that it won't get ruined. All right, so sorry for all the rambling, but so I, this is going to this light now. And I folded this in half and I put just black tape every foot about so that all the stuff's coming out of one side. So now I can just take this harness, just take this end, pull it through, plug it in, plug this one in and then tuck this ball of whatever away in the corner or I might just hurry and, hurry and try to pull it up through. I just don't want to jack up my car and take the wheel off and do all that stuff because I don't want to mess with the fender liner. Because like I said, I don't care if they work or not, but I would like to turn them on 
just like this, just to make sure that they do work in case I ever decide I want to uh, permanently hook them up. All right, so wiring, I got it all through. You can't see it in there. It's tucked pretty low down there. Um, you can kind of see reflection of a little bit of it there, but you'll never see it from out here. But this one's plugged in through a self tapper in the corner. Like I said, I would, that thing's not going anywhere. Same with this side, plugged in, self tapper in the corner with the drill, not going anywhere. So now these should just pop in really easy. I might have to use two with hands. So you might not see me completely put it in. Maybe not, it's going pretty easy. Perfect. I might have to massage it a little more, not on film, but it seems like it all snapped in pretty good. Fitment's pretty good for, like I said, $52 kit. That looks sick. Let me open the door and get further away. That looks so much better than without it. So now I'm going to mess with some of this wiring, probably use a drill battery instead of a car battery because it's kind of far away and try to get these to turn on just to make sure that they do turn on with this Rass Nest Nightmare of wires. So I've got a power, a ground, and then over here I've got, it looks like a power and a ground, but I'm not sure. I have to look at the instructions. So yep, positive, ground, female plug. They already had that plugged together in the kit. I didn't even have to do that one. Uh, it's red one, extension cable, switch. That one's really easy. It just plugs into the screen one, like I said earlier. So it looks like I'm just gonna need to do two of the red ones to positive and two of the red, two of the black ones to ground and then hit the switch and they should turn on. So I'll let you know how that goes once I get it all rigged up. All right, so I got some rigged stuff going on. They came with, came with this weird little junk thing that you can put two wires together. So I put both positives there. And this screwdriver is touching the negative with the negative for the switch. So the switch is lit up. So if, it, if I hit the switch, the switch turns green. This is the ground to the lights. And it's hard to film this because I've got to touch it to chassis ground. So see, I'm, everything's grounded, everything's got positive ground. So now this switch is red, green, and look, fog lights are on. This is just my ground. Hit the thing, off. So I think this little tiny red one and this little tiny black one, all they're doing is making the light in that turn on, I think. So I think if I move the screwdriver, so I don't even need this black one or this red one right here. So that just simplifies the harness that much. So um, I'm probably going to make this all work, but simplified. Like all this wiring is too long. So I'm gonna have to chop it up, solder it all nice, shorten it, and then put it all together nice. And then I'm probably gonna buy a different switch off the internet like that goes in OEM spot like a more expensive kit does see I only have off and and low beams I want to switch this off low beams and fogs and when I buy a switch like that then I'll wire the fogs into the switch but until then I'm probably just going to like I said ball all this up and zip tie it somewhere out of the way for now all right so this is the end of the video but so this red wire is that extra wire extension cable. I just stuck it on the ground for a better demonstration of them working. So this is going to the black wire. You can see it down there. I just stuck them together. This is the actual red wire, positive ground. And this is my switch plugged into just the yellow one. So this red one has to be on positive. So if I hold that on pot, if I, if I just hit the button, they do nothing. But if I 
let's say I hit the button so it's on and I touch that positive, boom, fog lights. And then if you touch the black one to ground and the red one to positive, then the switch lights up green and red. So really you do need every single wire except for this one, unless you want the light in the switch to work and then you need this ground also. So here again, that's on and off. So they do work and they work good. So um, I'm going to take all this apart so it's not sketchy. And then give you one last look with the fog lights in and then this cover I'll put on after I tuck all these wires away somewhere. But that cover just pops on and then this trim I showed you earlier just pops right back in the center. And then that's it. So, yep, that's my install video on the fog lights for the Mark 6 Jetta.